Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice. And this is the prayer connection where you make a connection with God. Yes, this is now the prayer connection where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go into another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward onto another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise, God. We give you glory, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the day that you have made, Father God. And we are rejoicing, hallelujah, and being glad in it, hallelujah. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, hallelujah. And we are rejoicing and being glad in it. No matter what's going on around us, God, we can choose to rejoice. It's a choice. Every day we wake up, we make a choice to rejoice or not to rejoice. In the name of Jesus, your word says in John 16, 33, in me ye might have peace. That's what you say, Lord Jesus. You spoke to your disciples and you're speaking to us. You say, in me, in Jesus, in me ye might have peace. In the world, you're going to have tribulation. You're going to have tribulation. You're going to have trouble. You're going to have predicaments and problems and perils. You're going to have adversities and afflictions. You're going to have all these things. But he says, be of good cheer. In me ye might have peace, says Jesus. In me you might have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation. You can't get around the trouble. You're going to have trouble. But he says, be of good cheer. Because I've overcome the world. And if you're a born-again believer, and Jesus is living in you, he resides in you, his home is in you, and he's an overcomer, you will overcome too. He says, in me you might have peace. In the world, tribulation. But be of good cheer. Because I have overcome the world. And if Jesus dwells in you, and he does if you were born again believer, then you overcome too. You overcome everything that's in the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give God all the praise. We give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless him today. We give him glory because he's worthy to be praised and he's worthy to be thanked. Father God, you're worthy to be worshipped. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. You're worthy of all the praises, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy of all the honor, oh God. You're worthy, 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 Lord. You are worthy, God. We serve a worthy God. He's worthy to be exalted. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be lifted up. He's worthy to be lift, lifted up high. High. High and lifted up is his name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's Lord today. He's Lord over your situation. He's Lord over your finances. He's Lord over your health. He Lord's Lord over your wealth. He's Lord in your family. He's Lord over this whole entire universe. He's Lord in the heavens. He's Lord on the earth. And he's Lord under the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, he's Lord in heaven. He's Lord on earth. And he's Lord under the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give God praise today. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory to his name. God is good today. We serve a good God. He is good to us. He's good. His character is good. He's always good. And we give him praise and we give him glory and we give him honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we give you praise. You worthy of all the honor. He's, we love to serve you, God. We serve the Lord with gladness and be coming for his presence with singing in Jesus' mighty name. Well, saints, today is a good day. God, God has an encouraging word for us, a word for us to pray through today in Jesus' name. And God wants you to know today that you have to be persistent in the enemy's resistance. You have to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. 
You have to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. We have to be persistent in the enemy's persist, per, per, resistance. The church has to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. You have to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. Every, all these things are going around in the world. We got the pandemic. We got all kinds of calamities. We all got torn calamities. We got all kinds of, we got natural disasters. We got racial and violence. We have all these things going around us. But he said, no matter what the enemy's doing, you have to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. The Bible says in Luke 18, 1, he says, men should always pray and not faint. Women should always pray and not faint. Children should always pray and not faint. Mankind must always pray and not faint. The church should always pray and not faint. Your family should always pray and not faint. Your friends, your friends, your circle, we all, all of us, we always should pray and not faint. According to Luke 18, 1. You have to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. You have to pray and not faint. You can't give up. You got to pray without ceasing. The devil is there to withstand you. He's there to push back on you. So you push back on him in the mighty name of Jesus. In that same chapter, in Luke 18, 5, it talked about the, this widow woman. This widow woman kept coming to an unjust judge so she could get venge vengeance or to, for him to re avenge her of her adversary. bring Give her justice concerning her adversary. Give her justice concerning her enemy. So this widow kept coming to the unjust judge day and night, day and night, day and night, day and night, saying, avenge me of my adversary. Give me justice concerning my enemy. Give me justice. Give me justice concerning my enemy. And the unjust just said, you know what? This woman is driving me crazy. She driving me crazy. I don't regard God. I don't fear God. And I don't care about mankind. But because this woman continuously troubles me, because of her continual coming, because of her continual coming, he said, I would give her what she want. Her continual coming did it. And if her continual coming will change an unjust judge, a, a, a man that has no fear of God, how much more will our continual coming bring us results? In other words, you got to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we will be persistent to the enemy's resistance. In the name of Jesus, we'll be persistent to the enemy's resistance. We'll just keep on coming. We just keep on coming. We just keep on coming. We could keep on bombarding the hell, the, the gates of hell. We keep on binding and loosening in the name of Jesus. We keep on praying in the name of Jesus. We keep on praising in the name of Jesus. We just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We'll keep on prophesying to the situation. We keep on prophesying to the pandemic. We keep on prophesying to our finance. We keep on prophesying to our bodies. We keep on prophesying to our family. We won't stop. We won't give up. Men should always pray and not faint. We should pray without ceasing. It's our continual coming to get the job done. You can't get weary. You can't give up. You can't lay down. You can't let the devil walk on you. You can't throw in a towel. You got to keep on coming. You got to keep on coming. You have to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. He's resisting you. You got to be more persistent. You got to outlast the devil. You got you to make up your mind. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm going to keep on praying against this pandemic. I'm going to keep on praying against this plague. We got to keep on playing against it. Keep on praying against it. Keep on speaking a word and saying, you pandemic plague pestilence, you will be obliterated, annihilated, disintegrated, and blown to smithereens. You have to keep on speaking the word. Keep on speaking it in the name of Jesus. It's your continual coming. It's your continual praying that gets the job done. That gets results. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your continual coming. Your persistence to the enemy's resistance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your faith is on trial. Your faith is being tested. Are you going to outlast the enemy? Are you in it for the long haul in your prayers? Or are you going to pray today and forget about it if you don't get the answer? 
Are you going to give up praying against this pandemic, against this plague, just because the numbers are going up? So because you see death all around, you're going to say, well, it didn't work. I'm going to give up. No, no, no. You got to keep on pressing in and pressing on. For there's a blessing in the pressing. There's a blessing in the present. It's a blessing in your continual coming. It's, your, it's a blessing in your praying without ceasing. Yes, your faith is on trial. The church's faith is on trial. Your family's faith is on trial. It's on trial. Your faith is on trial. The Bible says in James 1, 3, that the trying of your faith worketh perseverance. But let perseverance have its perfecting work, that you may be perfect and tired one and nothing. Yes, James 1 and 3 says that it's the trying of your faith or the, it's your, the testing of your faith. You got to be persistent in, to the enemy's resistance. You got to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. You got to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. Your faith is on trial. It's being tested. Your stamina is being tested. Your spiritual tenacity is being tested. Your endurance is being tested. Your steadfastness is being tested. Your perseverance is being tested. Your patience level is being tested. Your persistence is being tested. Your faith is on trial. You're being tested. You have to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. You have to be in it for the long haul. He will stand you. You will stand him. He, the plague is resisting you. You resist it in prayer. You keep on praying. Pray without ceasing. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in James 4 and 7. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. He, he will flee. Not you. Submit yourself unto God. Submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Persistent to the enemy's resistance. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be discouraged. You say, well, I've been praying and praying and praying. Nothing happened. I've been praying and praying and praying. And things getting worse. Oh, 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 don't, don't be discouraged. Look at Daniel. Look at the book of Daniel in Daniel 10, 12. The angel told Daniel, the old Ed, Daniel, the, the Lord thy God, he heard you the first day that you prayed. He'd been praying. He'd been praying and didn't get no answer for 21 days. But on the 21st day, the angel showed up and told Daniel, Daniel, man of God. God heard you the first day that you prayed. And I'm here to tell you, you've been praying against this pandemic, praying against the plague, the spirit of Corona. You've been bound in the spirit of Corona. You've been bound in the spirit of the plague. You've been bound in the spirit of Delta. You've been bound in the spirit of Omicron. You've been bound in the spirit of poverty. You've been bound in the spirit of, of low self-esteem. You've been bound in these spirits and it seems like nothing has happened. It's getting worse and worse and worse. But the God says, don't be moved. Don't be moved. Say, I should not be moved. I heard you the first day that you prayed. God heard you, church, the first day that you prayed. He heard you, mother, the first day that you prayed. He heard you, young man, the first day that you prayed. He, he heard you, woman of God, the first day that you prayed. Don't give up. Pray without ceasing. Just keep on going in. He, he The devil resisted you. Just keep on going in. We got to keep on going in in prayer. We got to keep on going in in our praise and our worship. We got to keep on speaking the word. We got to keep on prophesying to the situation. We got to keep on decreeing and declaring what well, thus saith the Lord. Because if you do... When the storm clear, you'll still be standing with, with this rope and you'll get your answer. If you keep doing that, when the dust clear, you'll still be standing with your answer, with your answered prayer. With this plague being demolished, ne negated, and nullified. Everything you've been praying for and the devil's resisting you, if you stay the long haul, you're going to get your answer. It's not the time to quit. It's praying time, not fainting time. It's praying time, not throwing in the towel time. It's time to press in and press on, for there's a blessing in the present. Father God, we worship you. Father God, we'll pray without ceasing in the name of Jesus. We realize our faith is on trial. We've been tested. 
Our stamina has been tested. Our tenacity is being tested. Our continuous is being tested. Our steadfast is being tested. Our stick to itness is, is being tested. Our perseverance is being tested. Our patience is being tested. Our persistence is being tested to see if we will be persistent to the enemy's resistance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now let's look at 2 Kings 13. In 2 Kings 13, 14, and 19, this is a perfect example of being persistent to the enemy's resistance. Right here. 2 Kings 13, verses 14 through 19. Let's, let, let's get a, a little background. I'm going to give it to you in a paraphrase, a paraphrase form. Now, the children of Israel was being oppressed I mean deeply oppressed, violently oppressed by Syria and the Syrians. They was being oppressed, the children of Israel. Oppressed by Syria and the Syrians. And the, the king at that time for the children of Israel in Israel was King Je Jehoash. King Jehoash, the king of Israel, ran to the prophet Elisha. And he was begging for help. And Elisha had instructions for the king of king of Israel. He told the king, he said, King, get a bow and arrow. So the king went and got a bow and arrow. He said, King, put, a, put your hand on the bow. So he put his hand on the bow. Then the prophet put his hand on the king's hand. And then the prophet Elijah says, Now, open the eastern window. So he opened the eastern window. And the prophet said, King, shoot. So he shot, bam, he shot the arrow. And then the prophet Elisha says, he prophesied, he said, this is the Lord's arrow. This is the Lord's arrow, the arrow of the victory over Syria. This is the Lord's arrow. This is the arrow of the victory over Syria. See, this was a symbolic gesture. It was symbolic. It was, it was, it was, it was symbolism. The shooting of the arrow meant defeat and victory for the victory. For Israel and the, and the defeat for their enemies. And then in 2 Kings 13, he went on to say, Now you did you did that? Yes, he'll follow all the instructions. Then the prophet Elijah said, Okay, now pick up the other arrows. So King Joash picked up the other arrows. Then the prophet said, Strike the arrows. On the ground. Strike the arrows on the ground. Strike them on the ground. Strike the arrows on the ground. This is the instructions Elisha told the king of Israel to do this. Now, the rest of the arrow that you have left, strike those arrows on the ground. So King Jehoash shut the ground one time, two times, three times, and then he stopped. He struck the ground one time, two times, three times, and then he stopped. And the prophet Elisha got very angry. He said, you, what did you do? You should have kept hitting the ground at least five to six more times. Then you would have got complete victory over Syria. You would have utterly destroyed them completely forever and ever. But because you quit, because you quit so soon, you only struck the ground three times. You're only going to get three times victories in Jesus' name. And that's what happened. The children of Israel only got three times victories, but the other times they were defeated because they didn't keep striking the ground. King jo 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 Jehoash should have kept striking the ground, strike that ground, strike that ground. And this is what God is telling us today. Striking the ground with the arrow is symbolic of prayer. Praise, speaking the word, and using your mouth as a weapon. So you had to keep on striking that ground, hit that ground with that arrow, hit that ground, strike that ground, strike that ground, strike that ground. Because the many times you keep striking that ground, no matter what's going on, keep striking the ground, strike that ground, hit that ground with prayer, hit that ground, strike that ground, keep prophesying, prophesy, prophesy, keep prophesying. Every time you do, you hitting the ground, hitting the ground. And if you do that, 
until you keep doing it until the enemy is completely annihilated, disintegrated, eradicated, and blown to smithereens. You keep doing it. You don't you don't give up. Don't be like Jehoash and only hit the ground three times where you could have just kept on hitting the ground. If you kept on hitting that ground, God said, I'll give you complete victory. So God, in the name of Jesus, we'll keep on straight that ground, hitting that ground in prayer, hitting that ground, hitting that ground in our praise, hitting that ground, hitting that ground with the arrow, with, with our worship, hitting that ground, hitting that ground with our prophecy. We'll keep hitting that ground, hitting that ground, God, God in Jesus' name, with our warfare. We'll keep hitting that ground, striking that ground, striking that ground with our decrees and declarations. We'll keep on, keep on, keep on hitting that ground, striking that ground with bands and lucid. We won't stop. We won't stop. We won't give up three times. We won't look at the what's going on around us and give up. We won't look around us and give up. We won't look at the numbers on, on the TV talking about all the cases of this pan, of, of the virus going up and up and we give up. We won't look at our bank account and just give up. We won't look at the doctor's diagnosis and just give up. We just keep hitting that ground in prayer. Hit that ground in prayer. Take that arrow and hit that ground. And if you do that, at the end, you win. God gave us a perfect example. Submit yourself unto God. Resist that devil. And he will flee, not you. In other words, you got to have persistence in the, to the enemy's resistance. So, Father God, we pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, oh God. We give you glory. Father God, we take authority over this pandemic. We take authority, God, over this plague. We take authority over the pestilence in the name of Jesus. We keep on hitting that ground, hitting that ground, hitting that ground. We're going to keep on praying and praying and praying and praying and praying till we get some results until we get complete victory we decree and declare that this pandemic and this play the spirit of corona the spirit of delta the spirit of omicron the spirit of the virus the spirit of we we, we command it to be obliterated annihilated disintegrated eradicated and blown to smithereens in the name of Jesus for at the name of Jesus every knee bows every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord in Jesus name we speak to our bodies right now I'm praying for you I speak to your body you're going through some sickness you're going through disease you might get hit with the virus you might get hit with another disease we're gonna keep on praying keep on speaking that word keep on keep on keep on till you're totally delivered you're gonna keep striking the ground with that with the arrow by your stripes you are healed. By your stripes Jesus you are Jesus is healing you. By your by Jesus stripes you are healed. By Jesus stripes you are healed. In Jesus name be thou made whole in the name of Jesus. Be thou made whole in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be thou made whole. God is raising you up with resurrection power. God is raising you up with resurrection power. God is raising you up with resurrection power. We pray without ceasing. We pray and not faint. We keep striking the ground with our arrow until we get complete victory. Because when it's all said and done, at the end, you'll win. You're going to outlast the wicked one. You're in it for the long haul. After the storm, you'll still be standing. When the dust clear, you'll still be standing. In the name of Jesus we're praying for our finances right now. Some people say my finances are diminishing and not replenishing. But I come against that thing, right? And we're going to keep on praying. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the windows of heaven are open over us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that God said, there's no good thing I withhold for them to walk up rightly. In Jesus' name. Your storehouse is full. Your bank account is full. Your wallet is full. Your purse is full. It is filled today to overflow in Jesus' name. Yes, the windows of heaven are open over you. You're living under open heaven. You and your household in Jesus' in Jesus name. The Lord maketh rich and have no sorrow in Jesus' name. Yes, you are the healed and not the sick. You are on the head and not the tail, on top and not the bottom in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we bind death, untimely death, and premature death, and sudden death. We bind it all in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We keep on striking the ground. We keep on hitting that ground, hitting that ground with our arrow. 
and we should not be moved. We're going to stand right here until we get results. I don't care how long it is. I'm in it for the long haul. You in it for the long haul. In Jesus' mighty name. That's what you do, saints. You got to have persistence to the enemy's resistance. You got to have persistence to the enemy's resistance. In Jesus' mighty name. Got to pray and don't faint. Pray without ceasing. Submit yourself unto God. Resist that devil. And he will flee. Not you fleeing. He will flee. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, we give God praise and honor. God, we thank you that you always hear us when we pray. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. We thank you for giving us persistence to the enemy's resistance. We thank you, Lord God. We realize our faith is on trial. Our faith is being tested. Our stamina is being tested. Our tenacity is being tested. Our endurance is being tested. Our continuous is being tested. Our steadfast is being tested. Our patience is being tested. Our stick to itness is being tested. Our perseverance is being tested. But we're going to keep on, God. We're not going to stop. We're going to endure to the end and get results in Jesus' name. Now, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you can't, you have no persistence. You always give up because you have, you have no faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So if you don't have the Word of God, you have no faith because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. You have no persistence. You can't resist the devil. He can always overcome you. You need Jesus. Everybody needs Jesus. I need Jesus. You need Jesus. The whole wide world needs Jesus. Let me lead you in a simple prayer because I know by now you really want Jesus. Because you know you can't make it on your own. You can't make it on. You can't do this thing on your own in your human flesh. You need a savior and his name is Jesus. And he loves you so very much. Let me lead you in a simple prayer. Say, Father... In the name of Jesus, your word says that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call his name. Come on. Let's call his name. Jesus. You call upon that name. He said you will be saved. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Say it. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. Say it. Say, I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. And since I believe it and confess it, you said I will be saved. For with your, with your heart you believe and with your mouth you confess. If you pray that simple prayer, if you pray that simple prayer, you are now a born again believer. The greater one lives on in you. The greater one lives in you. Greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. The greater one's in you greater than the enemy because you got Jesus on the inside of you. Greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. Now you have a power to persist. He's releasing right now, right now, right now. All of those who are listening, all our family, God's given us a power to power, power to persist. The enemy's resistance. He's given us persistence to, to, to counteract the enemy's resistance. You got power today to counteract the enemy's resistance with your persistence. In Jesus' name, God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. And God, we give you honor. I will see you next time on the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with heaven. Bye-bye. God loves you. And I love you too. Bye-bye. Happy New Year 2022. We're going to be persistent to the enemy's resistance. And we're going to get our prayers answered. Because we're in it for the long haul. Bye-bye.